Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today, we're just gonna go through the difference in price between a 12 volt solar system that we DIY ourselves or a power pack system like here. Not really this Blue Eddy as this one's a little too small for daily van life, more like this Anchor 767 power station. So let's just get right into it. So before we get into this comparison real quick, I just want to note, we do have a Van Kooks Van Conversion Masterclass. If you're trying to build your van, you need some help, sign up. It's almost done. It's getting close. We'll email you when it's ready and you'll get a discount if you sign up early. So checking that out. And now let's move on to today's video. So here we have two power stations. Uh, this Blue Eddy EB55 is a smaller unit. I don't think this would really be big enough for daily van life use. But if you're just kind of taking weekend trips, looking into Blue Eddy, they have some really nice price points. I like their stuff. So checking them out, links are in the description. But just for this video, we're really just gonna talk about these bigger portable power stations. So this is the Anchor 767, 2,500 watt output. It can take a 1440 watt input. So charging up to one and a half hours, I believe off of the wall and then a thousand watt input on our solar input. So pretty powerful little unit. It does retail for about $2,000. So this can totally be an option. If you want to just wheel this into your van, you're good to go. I think the only limitation on this unit is all of the inputs are in the back here and they do kind of like stick out far and they're not that easy to get in and out of if say you put this in your van against the wall or something it would be kind of difficult getting in and out but it has the wheels it has the handles you can always just pull it out unplug everything you're good to go four outlets six five U two usbs three usbcs and then two car outlets so it's got a lot you could definitely wire some lights and plug in your fridge or anything you need into this unit so here's one option two thousand dollars and then we're going to switch just to our 12 volt system so if you want to diy it you want to take on the task maybe you want to get the van kooks master class to see how we went through this so starting with the battery this uniwix battery is about 500 bucks uh a 2500 watt this is a 2000 watt but to match the power of this 2500 watt inverters anywhere from about 200 to 300 dollars then we have our charge controller i believe this was 150 and then all of our Bus bars, those were $35 each. This thing was about 30 bucks. You can get them for more or less. And then all the cables, um, since you do have to buy them in long in, in 10 foot runs. So plus also I'm gonna calculate these in with the cost. So let's just say the cables were about um, $100. Fuses are about 85, fuses and breakers. So we have additional breakers we need one on the solar maybe one off the battery on the switch there and then we have what else do we have here i think that's it bus bars cables breakers fuses charge controller inverter yeah so all of that runs at about eleven hundred dollars so nine hundred dollars cheaper coming in on this setup here this exact setup so comparing that to this two thousand dollar unit so we're going to be saving about $900 if we do it ourselves. Maybe you just want something compact and easy to deal with, and maybe that's worth the $900 difference. You don't have to do a single thing. You could just wheel this into your van and be good to go. I know plenty of people who use portable power stations, whether it's Anchor, uh, Blue Eddy, Goal Zero, lots of options, Jackery out there. So any option, but just making sure you go with something bigger. So this is a 2,048 watt hour unit. So definitely you're gonna need more capacity to power the fridge, your computers, whatever you're powering. So just knowing that you will need a bigger unit. And then just the difference though, so say we're comparing 1,100 to 2,000, we still then have money left over, $900. I mean, that could buy a lot. That could buy another battery, expanding our battery bank, and another and a solar panel or maybe two solar panels and the battery or you know there's keeping one battery two solar panels so we could add on there that money could also go into other stuff so just kind of calculating what your budget is but if you're seeing all this and this looks daunting and you just don't want to deal with it you can always just install something like this i know anchor is always running specials i know two thousand dollars just the retail price 
checking their website, seeing any deals that they got going on. And I really like this unit. It's got a nice display. We did a review. You can check it out here, or you can check out how we went through this entire system with the link here. So thanks for watching you kooks. Like and subscribe. We hope the content is helpful and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.